if your brand or business has multiple locations, it is not enough to have one single Google business profile for all the locations. You need to create unique separate online profiles for each location. Having a page for each location supports local SEO, which helps a business show up more often in nearby searches. It also helps with regional marketing and allows the business to better establish their business in a specific market. Through the free Google Business Profile tool, businesses with multiple locations can benefit greatly as they increase their chances of being featured in local search results. So if you're a local business owner with multiple stores, you should set up Google Business Profile for all the locations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple locations to your Google Business Profile. I'm going to show you how to add multiple locations directly on Google Search and Maps and show you how to manage your location profiles in Google Business Profile Manager. I'm also going to show you how to create a business group, add businesses to existing groups, transfer businesses to a business group, manage and add users, and so on. Lastly, I'll show you how to import profiles in bulk, especially if you have more than 10 business locations to add. At the end of this video, you'll be able to add, manage, and update all your different location profiles efficiently. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Now, let's get started. If this is your first time of creating a Google Business Profile, make sure to check out the full video of listing and creating a Google Business Profile for your business that I made. The link is in the description. Now, there are two ways to add multiple locations to your Google Business Profile. You can add multiple locations by creating individual profile for each location directly in Google Search and Google Maps. You can also do this inside the Google Business Profile Manager and set up a business group to manage the profiles. Let us go through both ways. First, let's do this in Google Search. This is a business profile I created for our business, Homeware Stores. Let's say I want to add a second location on this profile. To do that, select these three dots and then from the drop down, click Add a new business profile. This will open a new business profile creation page and we can begin to add the details of the second store. I know you are familiar with this screen. This will be similar to the initial setup you've already done for your existing business listing if you have one. Just follow the same steps as before. Ensure you update all the information so that prospective customers or searchers that are using Google can easily find your business. This includes updating the location information and any new business information that may be relevant for that particular location, such as address, phone number, and so on. Let's go through this quickly and I'll show you some changes you might need to make. So click Add your business to Google. Add the same business name and category as before. You want to make sure that the name and the category remains the same. Select Add Location. Add the address of the new location. Provide deliveries, select yes. Areas you serve, here you want to add areas close to the new business location. Add the official phone number of the new location. Add website if you have one. This can be the same website you used before or a page on that website specifically meant for this new location. Now verify your business. In this case, we have phone call verification option. Click to get a voice call, enter the code, and then click verify and now the new business profile is verified add business hours for the new store accept messages enter description add photos here make sure you have photos from this particular location upload as many as you want then click next your edit will be visible once verified click continue and we are finally done now this is a profile page for the new location on google search on the right you can see the details of the new store and now you can see we've created a second business profile now let's take a look at both profiles in one place click the three dots again and from the drop down select your business profiles here you'll be able to see all the business profiles in one place and you can click to select any of the profiles you want to view or edit if i close this tab and open a new tab Enter into Google, Google Business Profile or Google Business. This will open the main Google Business Profile page in search. And here you can see the two profiles and I can click to select any of the profiles to edit at any time. Now you can go ahead and edit the profile and add more business category like we did for the first store. Edit other things and you are done. To add another third location, you do the same. 
Click the three dots and select add a new business profile and follow the same step. So as you can see, it's very easy to do. As you continue to add more profiles, it will continue to show up here and then you can see all the profiles in one place. You can click to select any profile you want to view or edit at any time. You can also add multiple locations to your business profile in Google Business Profile Manager. To use Google Business Profile Manager, go to business.google.com slash locations. Make sure you select the right profile. Inside the Google Business Profile Manager, you can add and verify new locations individually or you can use bulk management. Bulk management allows businesses with 10 or more locations to add, verify, and manage their locations all at once, which simplifies the process. If you have less than 10 locations, you are not eligible for bulk management and you will need to claim, verify, and update each location individually. Here you can see we have the two profiles. Here you can click to open and manage each profile. And on the left, you can see we have reviews. Here you can see all the reviews for all the locations. Here you can see a managed linked account if you have linked your profile with other Google services like Google Ads or Google Merchant. Here you can see and manage the settings. Let's go back to the businesses menu. Here you will see all your existing business profiles. You can create groups to manage different profiles and their locations. This is the advantage of using the Google Business Manager. A business group is a select group of business profiles that's collectively managed by an organization or user group. Sorting your locations into groups makes it easier to manage multiple locations and keep them organized. You can apply changes and share access to multiple profiles at once. With a business group, you can also share management of locations with multiple users. Let's create a group for our business. Click Create Group at the top. Enter the name of the group. I'm going to enter Homeware Stores Group and then click Create. Now you can start adding locations to this group. If you have another businesses that you run, you can create a separate group for that business. Here, you can click to select any group you want to manage. I'm going to select the group I just created. Now I can start adding locations for this particular business. Since we already have two profiles created for this business, we can transfer the business profile to this business group. From here, select on group to see the two profiles. The profiles have not been added to a group. To add them to a group, Select the two profiles by checking this box at the top, click Actions, and from the drop-down, click Transfer Profiles. Select the business group that you want to receive the profiles. Click Transfer or Transfer Ownership, and now the two profiles will be added to the Ownware Stores group. Now, if we select the Ownware Store group, you can see we have the two profiles. You can click to see the group settings. Here, you can add users or business managers you'll be the primary or main owner. To add a new location to an existing business group, make sure you are choosing the right business group. Then go here and in the drop-down, click Add Single Business. And like before, click Add Your Business to Google. Follow the steps as before, add details of the new profile. Once done and confirmed, the new location profile will appear here and be part of this business group. And if you go to Google search, the profile will appear there as well. You can add and verify more business locations like this and manage them here. If you have more than 10 locations to add at once, the easiest way to set up Google Business Profile for all the multiple locations is to use bulk location management. You can create and upload a spreadsheet with all of your location's information and request bulk verification. As long as your spreadsheet has 10 or more profiles from the same business, you can verify all at once without the need to create individual profile for each location. If you have less than 10 locations, you are not eligible for bulk location management and you will need to claim, verify, and update each location individually like we did before. To add locations with bulk management, go here and from the drop-down, click Import Businesses. Here, you can import a spreadsheet with all the information of all the locations. If you are importing for the first time, download the spreadsheet by clicking the Download the Template link. Download this template and add your details. This is a sample of what your final spreadsheet should look like. And as you can see, you have to add the details of each column for each location. The details basically is what you are expected to add if you created the profiles individually. You have to add name of the business, the category of the business, description, address, operation hours, holiday period, logo, cover photo, business photos and so on. Let's go over that quickly. 
First column, add the store code. You can just number it in order starting from one. Then the business name. All the locations must have the same name. So put the same name in the column under business name. Then address of each location. Make sure to add the right address of each location in this particular column. Then add locality if it applies. Whatever field that does not apply, leave it blank. Country, postal codes for each location. Then the geographical location of each location on Google Maps, add the latitude and longitude. Phone numbers, add the primary and other numbers. Make sure you have different numbers for each location. Add the website address, category, all locations must share the same one category that best represent the business. So make sure the business category, the primary category, and secondary categories are the same. Hours of operation, description, you can add the same description details. Start date, then photos like logo, cover photo, and other photos. You can upload the photos online and add the URLs of the photos in the column. To use the same photos, maintain the same URL. For multiple photos, separate the URLs with a comma, and so on. Now, after completing the spreadsheet, go over it to make sure you have not done any mistake and save it. Click here to select and upload the file. After uploading the spreadsheet, all you need to do now is to verify the profiles. Since you are eligible for bulk verification, a verification menu will appear here on the left. Click on the verification menu, then select Chain. You will see a form to fill out. The form will have fields to add business name, country or regions, contact name, include the names of everyone who manages the account, contact phone number. This is the main admin phone number. They will call this phone number if they need to verify your information. Business manager email. This email is needed to confirm that you are an authorized representative. Once done, submit your verification form and wait for Google to approve it. Google may contact you for any further information needed to complete the process. If approved, profiles for all the locations are created at once and you can see all of them in the business group in your Google Business Profile Manager. If you need to change or edit any of these details, you can do that by editing the spreadsheet with the latest location information from your account. For example, let's say you have a change in brand name or business name or some of your business locations have moved, you need to edit the details. To edit any business detail, check the box here to select the profiles you would like to edit. Leave out any profile you don't want to edit. Let's say you want to change the business name for example. Select all the profile by checking this box. If you need to edit some of the location details, check the ones you want to edit. Then in the top right corner here, click Actions. Then select Businesses. Now you can download the location information file as a CSV file or a Microsoft Excel file. You have the option to choose whether or not to include Google Update information and photos in your download. Then choose the type of file you would like to download and click download. Make any changes directly on the spreadsheet. Use the same store code and location information as you have in the past so that they don't create duplicate businesses. Change the business name column and now click review changes to see all the changes made. Make any other changes you want to make. Once you have reviewed and confirmed changes in the preview, you can submit the changes. Upload the edited file the way we did it earlier by going to add businesses, then import businesses. This will be reviewed of course, and once approved, the details will be updated. So this is how to create and manage multiple locations for your business on Google using Google Search and Google Business Profile Manager. Now go ahead and try this and start managing your multiple stores profiles. If you have issues or need help with something, don't hesitate to drop me a message in the comment section. Click to watch other related videos below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.